First run of the day. Welcome, guys. Okay, we got Dripfall. Big fan. Love Dripfall. Big fan. Okay. Cleanse all units. It's the Cleanse Seraph. Fatal Melting. When units die, you gain some AoE damage. And then you got Fledgling Imp. Sick. Nasty. I've been a big fan of Rage recently. But also because I love Wrathful Champion. Friendly units enter with Rage. Or when you play a unit, a random hand card in hand is reduced to zero. Now, Flicker's Liquor is insane. I made like five videos on this Flicker's Liquor for good reason. It's very powerful. Especially in combination with Dregs, which are already cause zero cost, right? Now, friendliness enter with Rage can be quite powerful, and we can maybe do something with that. But, because we are the Hellhorned, and Hellhorned can has some good stuff with Rage. But, Liquor's got to be the name of the game here. That's my energy for the run, and this focus on pip space and card draw, and things of that nature. Alright, so there's one thing we can mention. If we put the champion in the mid lane, since there's haste, he will never get hit. But he's also never hitting anything. So then if we think Reform is as, as, as strong of an ability as we think it is, and we say, okay, I have a guy in the mid lane who's never going to get anything happen to him unless Daedalus puts a bomb in his face, and in which case we'll figure it out then. So then we have to make the top lane and the bot lane some kind of combination of reformed units of strength and power, which do not get affected by Cleanse Seraph because they're enhanced and not buffed, right? So I'm going to try this idea. I'm also might just die in the first first fight, but I think it's worth mentioning that. Okay, in this first fight, we can probably put him in the top or the bot lane. But for the future fights, it seems like a good idea to put him in the mid lane, keep him alive. And play around resolving, reforming all the good jazz. Well, I'll tell you what, sirs. This damn brown, brown bottle right here, this is a tough fight. I have no fear. We got this. Look at these guys. Absolute fiends, beasts. And now I gotta draw the second Fatal Melting. Uh, I think I only have one though, so this is gonna be a little bit awkward. I'm letting these guys die. Do I want them to die like that in such such a manner? I'd rather take some little bit of damage. It's fine. Keep that guy alive. Just a little bit longer. Anvil has Imco stamped on it? I did not see that, no. Ah, now look at the beauty of this dripfall. Boom! But then boom! And now we see the beauty of dripfall. Matter of fact, it's dripfall him again. Because why not, sister? But he doesn't get to do his re reform thing, so unfortunately, ah, uh, mm. well, it's come to my attention that uh, if I put this up here, then I, they're gonna die next turn, and well, that was that. Goodbye. All right. Well, it, it is what it is. Now, if I do drip for all. The problem with Dripfall is that uh, I can't play anything behind it. We're alive, that's all that matters, boys. Molded is the jam. Multi Nimp is also the jam, but so was Hidden Passage. Now, because if we do Hidden Passage, we can say, I know you got haste. But what if I take you from the bot to the mid lane, and now I'm taking advantage of mid lane as a lane altogether? It's tough because multi nip is very good, but then we could come back and say, well, what does multi nip do for us? Well, it's a summon imp that does AoE damage that's quite powerful. And then you look in our deck and you say, well, we have one other thing in our deck that does AoE. It's called Fatal Melting. Well, it needs things to die before it becomes effective. It is kind of expensive, but at least it is AoE. But to be honest, having two AoE right now is like super powerful. I gotta take it. It's just too good early game. But Hidden Passage is something that's very useful as well to create mid lane options. Let's see what we got here. 
Large stone. All right, guys. Let's RNG. Weakless Baron, come on in, buddy. Let's have a good time. Let's have a great time. Spikes, no problem. You think I care about a little bit of spikes, eh? Guys, what do you think about me shaving today? Good choice, bad choice? What if I let this guy die? Let that guy die. Man, the leakage is too strong. We already lost, boys. Just kidding. Just kidding. We got Descent. I know it seems scary. I know. We were worried. Like, Jeremiah, what happened? Dazed happens. Dripfall happens. Oh, shit. It's still coming. Uh, we win the game, but... So we win the game before that becomes a problem, yeah? Right? Yes, we win the game before that becomes a problem. Yes. Jeremiah asking uh, uh, stupid questions. Uh, round two, round three. Drip fall again. You know what? I think it's damn good. Oh, we got Ascend now. Now we got Ascend. Okay. All right. We have all the things we need in the deck. Now we just got to remove all the bad stuff. The deck is done. Ish. We still need something to do with uh, making the... Uh, what's it called? Like some kind of scaling that works around Resolve. A unit that we can Resolve and make some stuff go on. But um, Duplication. I need health. I need health. Give a unit quick. What would one quick? What would one quick in this life? Is it this guy? Large stone quicker? Sure. Give this guy more health? Sure. And give this guy a little bit more health too? Sure. Copy a card in. Ooh, where is imp important work when we need it? One time my friend said he wanted to get into MMO and then he started no life in ranked League of Legends. Draco, what rank are you? What if I copy this Wickless Baron? Just straight up and just forget about five times. Five times is a little too much, eh? Are you playing them right now? Are you doing them? Are you, are you ready to play your promos? Salam, you've been AWOL for like seven, seven weeks now. I wish Salam cared about me like he cared about Traco's placements. Do this. Get some bot damage on him. Okay. 
So we can do a couple things. We can ascend some of these units get to die over here. What if we make a lane where the... So we have a lot of Wiggless Barons, right? So what if we do this? And we put another unit to die down here. I can let the boss take more damage. I can keep making the boss get damage, or I can let the Wiggless Baron get stronger. I'm going to do the boss get more damage here. If I do Rage Imp here and get a lot of damage on the boss, what do you think? What do you think? But then that kind of makes this Rage Imp feel kind of bad, right? I'll put this here. If I do this, I'll get a lot of damage on the boss, but like... I, I, this melee is going to be hard to use. I, I, luckily, I do have a lot of Ascendance and Drip Falls, so it's not the worst. Alright, so we can do things like this. Unfortunately, Rage Imp didn't get to do anything here, but now he will. Now the Rage Imp has some, some stuff going on. I need to make sure that this guy gets Drip Fault. I do Torch here, keep this guy alive. What do we mold? Mold the drag? Eh. Mold's not that good in this situation. I mean, Mold is fine here. This guy in the back. We're doing a lot of damage. We're doing a lot of damage to the boss right now, which is great. Put this right here. Do a lot of damage to the boss right now. Feels great. And then we we can do 38 or we can drip fall him and do even more. What do you think? 30 or drip fall. Drip fall technically does more. So might as well. Really damage the boss here. Now this whole minion is going to get uh, ignored, unfortunately. The whole minion is going to get ignored right now. Is this guy enough to win? I think he is. This whole melee is getting ignored. GG. Cool, cool concept. Using Ascendant Drip. Ooh, Transcendium. Okay. All summon effects triggered so far this battle. Or Bounty Stalker Extinguish. Okay. Or some armor out of the engines. Damn. These are tough. So, summon effects that I have are Rage and AoE damage. That's it. Transcendium is currently not that good. Now, if we get some artifacts and do some things, we can probably get this out of control. The deck is going to get super thick, unfortunately. Alley of the Ancients, it consumes itself, so when it comes to the concept of making a, a less thick deck, Alloy at least consumes itself, gets that out of the way. Bounty Stalker with the Performance gets nasty. The problem with Bounty Stalker with Performance is that it needs to die. And I don't have a reliable way to make it die. Unfortunately, these are not that good. Like, they're good cards, but, like, also not good because my deck can't really utilize them. Sad. It's quite sad, but... Like, as one-ups, I would take a lot of those things, but it, things change when... I'm gonna go for the artifact and the removal. Although, yeah. So, artifacts are really important here. Okay, now this is interesting. We've got Exploding Candle from where we are. We've got Split Anvil. Split Anvil in conjunction with Flicker's Liquor is a little bit weird. We're going to have energy solved for the rest of the game. 
I mean, how good is exploding candle though? I mean, how often is a burnout unit dying? And we have multi nymph to handle stuff like that, right? I don't know. Exploding candle is like it's not bad, but I mean, it means it means we have AOE always. We always have AOE. We can put a drag in front, and then the drag is an AOE. So AOE is always solved, and uh, maybe that's worth it. Maybe having AOE always solved is worth it. Because we already do have Flicker's Liquor. Alright. Alright. So Artifact is very powerful, but the fact that these things get full health is a little bit rough. Um, because this guy's going to have 90 armor, which I already struggled to, to kill. I struggled to kill things that had 90 health. Because my deck's a little bit, uh, not that good. Damn. So I'm going to say no to that, but Random Artifact is pretty tempting. I don't want to put this way. I want to put the, the better work this, but eh. Sure, why not? Uh, this guy's a problem. What if I send my champion? So I do some damage to him. Oh, do I not want to send my champion though? I don't want to send my champion, right? I'll do that. I think this is fine. I can drip fall. I need to put this in this lane. It's powerful. I can triple this guy. Drift on both of these. I can put this here as well. well this works as well, I guess. Yeah, I can drift on one of them. They're both dead now. Okay, I can drift on one more time, I guess. But where'd I put the Rage Imp? That's the thing. That's just pretty strong Rage Imp. Top lane. I'll let this thing die then. I can drip follow it again though. Not only did I manage to use three lanes, but then I managed to beat it on the first one. Increíble. The hilo hijo. That makes no sense. Kill a random friendly unit, kill a random non-boss enemy unit. Ooh, we can kill our own thing so that we can start taking advantage of the resolve. Because when I resolve, they come back with plus five attack. 
So we start killing our own things. And by killing our own things, we get harvest as well. Harvest on general, on, on generally everything that I have. Because I have like three little barons. Resin removal is very powerful to remove buff effects and also remove days from the top lane. In general, res removal is quite good. Crushing Demise is interesting though. Because if I can kill my own units... Ah, I think it's Resin Removal. Another tiresome... An oh, important work. This is what I'm talking about. Important work can work on any damn unit that I have. Any unit is an important work uh, unit. This is great. I wanted this card. Also, Tiresome Climb is pretty good as well. Put things up to the mid lane. Daze them. When they go up again, they get dazed again. Important work is... Okay, I'll do important work. But man, Tiresome Climb is also very good. More removal and we get some artifacts. Artifacts are very good. Let's do it. Let's see what we get. I don't need all these tracks. Alright, but that does help my flicker liquor, right? Alright, let's see what we got here. When it's so every unit is its home unit. So when I when in case ever means I have energy salt for the rest of the game. To be honest, I gotta try this. I gotta try this. Because I'm gonna get so much energy, I and now I just gotta find some X cost cards. Wait, is that an X cost card? Fine. That is an X cost card. We're gonna get a shit ton of energy, guys. I want you guys to see this. I don't have Pierce, so this. It's, it's fine. I'd rather not. I'm also about to get a, a, a big payday here. About to get a large payday. I need to, I need to daze this guy. I need to bring this guy down and daze him. It's problematic. This guy's problematic. These big health units are really hard for me in general. This guy's getting stronger though, fuck. Dude, this guy's just getting stronger and stronger. Yikes. I don't want to do important work because this guy's getting stronger and stronger. But I want to use his energy some way. Seven energy that didn't get utilized there. Let's move and get rid of the. Get rid of the, the days here. This guy's gonna be a problem. Oh man. Oh man. This guy's a problem. Did that just kill me? I could have done more damage if I put this guy in the middle. I could have done the order so that this guy dies. So this guy's gonna have... ...124. Means it takes 5 hits. I'm still alive.
Wow, get the garage is gonna be nuts. It doesn't even matter. All right, so this is gonna do um, 50, 58 plus 18. I need card draw. I wonder, I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again. Let's try this again. Because I, I think this is a this is a cool run. I wanna see if I can save it. Here I am sciencing again. Let's see, let's give it one more chance.
Payday, baby. What a payday. Whoa. Deck's getting too fat, though. Oh, boy. Gotta skip it all. Ah, but impressive is not bad. Ah, I need help killing big health units. Mmm, some money. Removal, artifacts, or duplicate. Oh, I mean, I need... Wow, shit. I need a... Mmm, damn. I do need Merchant of Magic, because I want to get hold over on drip fall like i think it's so important if i can hold over multiple drip falls oh it's a wrap right drip fall is so good it means i can take advantage of my mid lane almost always so hold over is really powerful but uh it's also a duplication and an artifact right and removal which is all very good it's all very 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 good what would I duplicate first and foremost? I do Marino. I would duplicate more drip falls. No. Nah, molded is not even that good to be honest. I think I gotta go this way. Ah, uh, that's like an artifact and removal. That's such good stuff. Get a random Hellhorn consumable, a random... Okay, let's take a look at these. Melting, Hellhorn, and Umbra, right? So we have a lot of energy at times. We're looking for X-Cos cards. Let's take a look at uh, Umbra. It's cons consumable, right? So, Umbra has... Shroud Spike, which is useless. Prismal Dust, which is okay. Prismal Retrieval, which is okay. Kindle, which is useless. Forever Consume, which is okay. More so the Wretch. A lot of these are bad, unfortunately. Take a look at Hellhorns. We get One Horns Tome, which gives a unit fragile. We get Consumer of Crowns, which is totally playable, but it's not a consumable. Never mind. Alloy, Rage Serum, Impina Box. Spike of the Hellhorn is not bad. Last Stands, whatever. Reinforce is kind of not good. Okay. Um, so Hellhorn's not that good either. Melting Remnant has Wax and Spike, which enhances friendly units with damage. It has hollow drippings has remnant packed it's got sacred wicks it's got members of the melted it's got sacrificial resurrection ah uh, i'm good man pretty pretty good considering my country government still asked of us to stay home yeah it's, it's happening in america too because it's getting pretty bad over here uh these are not that good either back is probably the best Mm. It's not that good. But a lot of umbers are pretty bad too. Hollow dripping is not that good. Memories of the is not good. Sacred Wicks is not good. Remnant Pact is okay. Hey. And let's take a look at Hellhorn again. Hellhorn has some good ones, right? One Horn Storm is not bad. Um Out of the Ancients, whatever. Raid Storm is okay. Imp of the Box is okay. Last end is eh. Reinforce is eh. Spike of the Hellhorn is probably the best one we can find. All right, I'll, I'll try Remnant. Let's try this out. Let's try this out. See what we get. Nah, I don't even need this. Just get money, right? Yeah, I, li I like Hellhorn as well. Hellhorn has a lot of good hits, actually. Hellhorn had like at least three or four decent hits. So, yeah, I should have thought about that a little bit more. Uh, okay. Take a look here. You have a job, some friends are really struggling. Yeah, I can imagine. We got a hole over on Dripfall. Fantastic. I want to make this cheaper. Nah, I'm in mean, Dripfall. I, I should just do that. But what if it's double stacked? That'd be interesting, right? This is pretty good. My AoE. Now is that. I'm going to reroll. Ooh, Permafrost. Permafrost drip when I need it. Let's make uh, let's make this cheaper. I can give it magic power actually. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep upgrading these things. These things are really good. Let's give it more magic power. Let's re-roll again. Imagine. 
All right, let's go ahead and remove one of the tracks. And you know what? Let's remove one of these torches. They're just pretty good, though. Let's go. I would like to see an artifact shop now. I'm rich. So I can get some good artifacts. The best case scenario for this run is I get an artifact shop and I get some really good artifacts and bring the deck all the way home. I need X cost cards because of this encased ember. Hmm. I'm already struggling on this floor. I'm already getting my booty clapped. I'm already getting my booty clapped extreme. Luckily, the AoE damage. From this, dying is killing everything in the backline, which is fantastic. We love burnout dregs. Dregs are actually quite useful. So, if I do drag right here, check this out. Not only do I do limbs in the front, right? Right? But because it's a burnout unit, it does AoE. And I did 50 damage at the front. And now look at my health. I mean, my energy. I mean, was that a turn or what? Was that a turn or what? So we have so much energy. We need to find a way to utilize this energy. On average, our energy is insane. And it sucks that I haven't found a way to really utilize it. So this is a burnout unit, you see? Because I, I, just, I just resolved it. So now when I do important sacrifice, it also does 5 AoE damage. I mean, what can I say? Fantastic. Hold over, baby. We holding over and holding up. Beautiful. Because in case Ember, whenever a Tome unit dies, I gave five energy, and all my units are Tome units. We have lift officers. GG. Alright, there's so a lot of things we can do. We can ascend this guy. Make him take some damage over here. And what we can do is work around this. So we can do things like that. Boom. Smack him up a little bit. And if I sacrifice this guy, I do less damage. But I kill this guy anyways. And then I have a lot of energy, right? So I can play things like this. And this guy wants to die, so I'll do this. I'll do a little bit of extra damage by doing resin removal. No more dazed. And I want to hold on to drip fall. So I'm going to do it again. We get the holdover off of it. And bada bing bada boom. I should be letting units die more often because I have to resolve them, right? So it's important that units die for me. So for instance, I do things like this. I let this thing die. I then do this. I then do a little bit of that. And then put this guy over here, do some damage. And I can stack days from the boss. I can also put this guy down here so that this guy gets even bigger. So we can do we can bring her down all to the mid lane. So we can do this. All the way down to the bot lane. And she has a lot of days on her, right? And what this allows her to do is take some damage. Because what I'm about to do is this. Um, um, well, I'm going to send this guy up. I'm going to do all this damage to the boss. So what I'm going to do is this. Because I want things like this to die. So this guy gets bigger. We're gonna chill. I, I could also um, overstack this lane as well. I could overstack lanes. She's already dazed. She's already dead. She has. Let's just count. Four days.
Easy for ants, ants. I'm down my right. Whoa, we found some X cost cards. Well, hallelujah. Mr. Energy. How do I say? What's the word for it? Extraordinaire. Energy Extraordinaire now has a way to dump it with Spike of the Whole Horn or Wax and Spike. Well, well, well. What's better? Wax and Spike enhances all the units, but it gives him burnout. Okay. Which is interesting because. When they come back with my champion, the burnout gets increased. So, not only will they die... They are now able to come back with, with some burnout mechanics with... Eh, no, uh, Spike of the Hellhorn is more reliable. So now I need card draw. Maybe Pips Face as well. Pips Face is not bad, so I can... But I mean, I can overstack lanes pretty well. I think I want to get card draw. Yeah, card draw, absolutely. The burnout one from Waxpec is actually kind of awkward because I want to buff my barons, and my barons do not want burnout. On Silver Vortex, I can remove. I can also go ahead and upgrade some more spells. Let's do some upgrades. Another holdover. So I can do holdover on another dripfall. I can do dripfall all day, or I can do important work. I can do important work every single turn if I wanted to. And now I can keep killing units, keep getting energy, things like that. Um. I want to save energy for a... I mean, double drip fall would be interesting, actually. Actually, it would be interesting. Let's go upgrade um, Impressive. Let's just save my money, though. I want to save money for the artifacts. Let's see what we got here. Lose 5 health or lose coins? I'm going to lose 5 health. Lose 5 health. Lose 5 health. Hey, that's good. That's great. That's great. That's great. Mamos. Ooh, and now they get 15. So now when things are dying, they're coming back with 15 smackaroos. Things are getting lethal. Things are getting lethal. Enemies are going to enter with 20 armor. I mean, that's manageable, but at the same time, the Ember Drain Sweeper is something I don't want to deal with. I'm going to go ahead and skip this. We feel pretty healthy and money wise. I don't know. Let's go take a look now. Alrighty. Rector Flicker. Let's get this guy here. He's going to die, of course. But that's the whole point. Man, this... Spa this I'm very rich already. This spike... Is going to get out of control, guys. This guy's already coming a problem. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to drift all this, man. I want to put this in the bot lane. It's very important, actually. I wasn't able to. What's, at least what I could do here is I should have done the order a little bit differently. I, I do damage to this guy, which is important. Um, I need more drip falls to save me here. I actually need important work on my... Mm, this, this is a problem. We have some problems here. Uh, I think I need to important work this guy. Ah, uh, important work again. Oh, I need to ascend a unit. Do I send this guy up here to help kill it? Because... Right now, we're having some trouble... Killing this guy in the back. Ooh, man, now I don't have... Uh, mm. 90, 90, 105, 40, okay. Whoa, I got Ember Drained. Incredible. Letting this guy die with burnout would be huge. Mm -hmm.
I think this guy can back, it's fine. I can sacrifice him. Is that better? Sacrificing this back better. Yeah. I can sacrifice this guy. He's gonna die burnout anyways. This guy's gonna do 27. If I do this, I get 60. And now I have energy because he died. So now I can actually do stuff. I can keep this guy alive now. It's probably worth it. The problem is, keeping this guy alive is like... Making it harder to play stuff in this lane, which is actually becoming an issue. Alright, so we have a burnout unit, right? So this, this is a burnout unit, so what we do is this. We sacrifice him. Check this out. Everybody dies. Then I have energy for days, right? So I could do a lot of things. I could bring this guy down, right? Hmm, let's kill you somehow. So I can play my, my little imps and do some lot of work. The problem is, that's not enough. So what we want to do is bring this guy up. And while doing that, that's a little bit problematic. Because what ends up happening is... Um, nothing, no damage happens to him. And then, so I need to drip fall him again. It's fine. I want to prevent Ember Drain. It's important that I prevent Ember Drain altogether. And then what's going to happen is we're going to drip all these guys again and kill them in the mid lane because the mid lane is the lethal lane. So if we do this, and mid lane is where the magic happens. And this guy doesn't do anything to my pyre. So this is fine. And I kind of want to like put one of the barons down here, but. Because what's been happening is that I'm not taking advantage of the harvesting as much as I should. Especially this this lane right here, no one's dying in the bot lane, so my, my, my barons are not skilled at all. Which is one of the main things about my deck, is the scaling. I can just put this guy here just so I can get the no hole over, which is fine. All right, so we have Spike of the Hellhorn, so that gives a lot of armor, a lot of magic, a lot of rage, right? Um, is that enough? If I do Impressive on this guy and then Spike of the Hellhorn, is that enough to win? What do you guys think? Days forever. So this is interesting. So when this thing dies, it gives me energy. It summons two drafts. Then I those drafts also give me exploding candle. I can't do anything much with that though, unfortunately. I mean. I could I could scale these up so right these if these drafts die they don't go to my consume pile so I actually can't resolve them with my champion it's unfortunate does it work does host allow me to bring them back with my champion and then scale up these multi strike units and then I have these multi strike units just getting super big does the host work like that because I'm pretty sure the summoned units from the drafts do not go to my consume pile or does Dangerous mind, hive mind, uh, change the way that the summon unit becomes, uh, change the, the nature of it, I mean. This could be a daze deck, so if we take mortal entrapment, we do a lot of damage and do a lot of dazing. And it seems like we keep things alive longer than they should be. Momentum more, deal damage to the front enemy, you to 10 times the number of friendly units to death this battle. I mean, that's a pretty good spell, in terms of, uh, front loaded damage, which I think we can take advantage of. Yeah, I'll take momentum more. I actually kind of curious how host is going to work though. 
more sacrifice in, but I think so. This is just good, yeah. Tasha Clan is also good as well. Pretty sure they're just cardless, probably. No, we can do artifacts here. We can do rem duplicate some health. We might need some health, right? Gives us some leeway. But what would we duplicate in this situation? We don't get to remove. I would like to remove some stuff, but okay, whatever. What would we duplicate here? Um, probably. What if we just duplicate drip fall? Is that too many drip falls though? At that point, it feels like it's too much, huh? We have a lot of important works, which is gonna be great. So we actually need a lot of units we can just kill. We need a pip space in the bot lane for sure. Or in the very least, I can't put two three costs in the bot lane. I need I need space to move and do stuff. Having three drip falls would be a little bit crazy, I think. Hmm. More impressive than no, no. Um. Spike because of the amount of energy I have. Yeah, that's true. But she cleanses the rage. Momentum Mori. Hmm. If you just want more important works, maybe we actually just want more drip falls. It's gonna influence my card draw though. If I play too many drip falls in a turn, and my card draw gets influenced, I'll do. That's why I'm gonna locate the, the permafrost one before I do anything though. Let's see what we got here. A double stack. Okay. What do we got here? Maybe I didn't need the health. Extinguish abilities will trigger additional time. Conserve energy between turns. First off, do we have any extinguish abilities? No. The horn. So how many cards we consume do we have? We, we barely play consume cards. Horn can be crazy, I think. Let's take a look at what we have here. What would one double stack? Double dazed? Oh man, what about double rageable armor? Whoa. Maybe I duplicate that now. Maybe I duplicate that now. Maybe I duplicate that now, huh? That's a pretty decent horn. It's pretty crazy. I know this claims Seraph, but I mean, she only has it, right? That's a pretty crazy horn. Let's try this out, boys. Good luck, have fun. Seraph will have any buffs and debuffs. Alrighty, so first and foremost, when I play a burn on unit and it dies, it does 5 AoE, so I need to play around that, right? Well, let's play this here. Alrighty. So we can do drip fall here, and we can bring this back later on. This guy, okay. Mm -hmm. I can hold on to drip fall here. You guys are already doing 15 damage to my life. Yikers. Just in case I draw another torch, I can kill that guy. Uh. Alright, so we need to put a burnout unit. If the burnout unit dies, then it, all of these things die, right? So there's two things I could do. Alright, so there's a lot of things I could do. Alright, first and foremost. Let's handle the top lane. 
and they just do that and let that thing die and then drip follow this for instance we'll deal with that in a second maybe we'll put in one of these bad boys help manage that all right now i still have pip space that's a problem again yikes so what if i just let this baron die and sacrifice him but then he doesn't have burnout that's fine do I want to sacrifice this Baron? I keep coming back though. He can come back to life, which is fine. And I could do this. I am gonna get drip fall. I I, I didn't get rid of the permanent one. Alright, but this is fine. So now this guy has burnout, so he could actually do AoE. If I put him in the front to, to tank, he not only does he tank, but then when he dies, he kills all the things in the back, which is fantastic, right? And then Momentum Mori gets stronger as well. So we need Drip Fall again to keep managing these things back here. There's a lot of things we could do here. Again, we could tank over here, and this Burnout unit kills those things as well. So let's do that first and foremost. Now we think about things like, if we put this guy here, not only does he tank a little bit, he then dies and does a whole bunch of crap. All right, so let's see what we can do. So we can do this, bring this down. And we can do um, this guy here. Beautiful. We can put this guy here, help kill that man. What I could do is actually important work here. Probably better. And then Momentum Mori kill this man. And we stop Ember Drain altogether. At the moment, wait, let me take a look. We reform the drag. It's not the worst. We can put things like here. Ah, but it's gonna be Ember Drain. Oh, he's dazed, never mind. I can do this and save life altogether. These things are gonna become a problem. So if I do this. If this guy dies, which he will. Then I do Momentum Mori. This guy's dead. And we can do Molded here to do more damage on this lane because this, this needs to die. Now if I do Fatal Melting, this also helps kill that. I can do Fatal Melting here. And. Do more damage to these little things in general which might be useful or i can do some damage to the boss um because these things are gonna die to this guy being burned out anyways which i don't mind but then they're very healthy in the front so it's 29 damage to aoe versus 29 here but also gonna be getting this guy lower and he's gonna be a problem when he gets to the top lane that's the thing but so are these guys ah but these guys are gonna be i'm gonna bring him back down with trip fall and this guy, if he dies, that's actually good for us because it allows us to get him back with Rector Flicker. So that's actually beneficial. We actually want to do that. And now Spike of the Hellhorn is looking juicy, but we want to find the Spike of the Hellhorn that is duplicated. We only have one drip fall here, which is problematic. So what we're going to have to do is some funky shenanigans, aka maybe just lose. Maybe just lose. These things became too problematic. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. We don't have resin removal. Okay, if we do these on this guy, I need to be able to survive to kill him in two hits. So I need to do enough damage right now. That's, this could do it. That's 180 damage. This could do it. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on a minute, sir. Whoa, baby. All righty. All right. Hmm. Did you follow this guy? Okay. If I play this, I need I need this guy to die. Fuck! I need this guy to die here. I can also just send him up. I can just send this guy up. He dies for free, and then I do spike of the hellhorn and kill this guy. 
Is that just the play? We're gonna get Ember Drain, but that's fine. Bomba, welcome to the stream, buddy. I'm glad you like the YouTube content. Alright. Can we send this guy upwards? And then we just fly the not just because I need to stay alive. Out of necessity. What a deck. What a mad, what a mad lad. What a dude, what a man, what a cool dude. What a dude with a man with a dude, dude. Oh, things are getting snutty. And when nutty things happen, well, there's a, there's a solution. Let's make it happen. First and foremost, I put this guy here and I have to sacrifice him? That sounds weird. What if I sacrifice one of these dudes just to see first, right? But then I don't get the damage. If I do this and measure removal, he can do his damage, right? And then, um, remember that guy gets days in the back, so that guy dies for free. It doesn't matter if he hits the top. And then this guy, this guy gets days as well. And if I were to do like drip fall on this guy, right? Almost always this guy's getting drip fall, all right? When that guy hits the top, the guy in the back does, dies for free, so then I need to make sure I can survive. My, my thing does. 90 It is 105 It is 105 And 3 hits The first hit I don't take anything So I take 8 damage to do 105 damage So I can take 8 damage here And by doing that it means I do this And by then that guy So I do this and Then that guy in the back is going to get hit, but if I do one mental Mori, I save life. I can do a little bit of important work to see what's going on. I'm going to send a unit. Interesting. Now, if I, do spike, if I do this again, I get this guy even crazier. The problem is she's about to have it. She already did have it, actually. But I'd rather use his energy on something. What if I put it on this guy right here? Boom. Now... We're, we're alive, we're good, we're kicking. Easy. It ain't easy being so breezy, sleazy, baby. This guy needs to go down 190. Yep. Now, let's take a look at what we can do here. This guy has quick. He doesn't have quick. So, now what's the problem here? I see the problem. Let's fix the problem. Alrighty, let's fix the problem here. One of the problems. Alright, ooh, this need this need okay, fuck. This lane's awkward as well. Um I see a problem here. So we do this. Nice. Alright, so then what we have to do is This guy needs to go down. This guy needs to go here. This in the back to help kill that lane. Ah, that guy's gonna become a problem. But luckily, we have hold over Dripfall, which is an absolutely booty smack and savior. This guy dies in two hits, but I don't want to take the hit at all. So if I put boom, 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 that guy's dead. Everything's dead. Put this right here. That guy's taking damage. The level of booty smacking that's happening right now is out of control. My favorite challenge yet. My favorite challenge yet. I'm in love with the challenge. We got another spike of the whole horn. Now that's 96. Whoa! Papa's coming in big with the damage. Wow, my mama mia. Double drip fall, double the whammy. Woo wee! Watch as we see the streamer lose his mind in excitement. Wow! Talk about it. Alright, first and foremost, this guy gets drip falled always. Alrighty. Again, an awkward conundrum where the damage is not getting applied in a way that is cohesive. So what I need to do is maybe spike on my champion. If I do that, then I consume as well. Um, that's holding's dead. 
But I want to play other things, right? So, for instance, I want to play... This guy's... Because he's coming back to life with my thing, he's actually scaling faster. He's scaling faster than this guy. Because he's coming back to life with the enhancements from my Rector Flictor. And it's not halved ever. So this guy's becoming big. Massive. Huge. I could do this. Give this guy rage. I could do a lot of things. I could do this. Then I could do it impressive. Put this guy here. Put this torch here. And then I think it's back on Hellhorn, my dude. And he's just big. But then where do I want to put this Wickless Baron, you know? Put him here. I want to keep the holdover thing, so I'm going to do this like this, because I want to keep this holdover thing. And then we're going to spike now. Oh! Was it a little bit overzealous? And maybe. What's up, Drake? Yes, I didn't, buddy. Final wave has approached me. Final wave has approached thine. Alrighty, alrighty. 120 plus impressive. What if I do the mix of the wham wham? What if I do a little bit of... What if I do impressive first? And then I just drip drip. What if I drip all these? All, all, all these guys right here. Oh, that guy's a problem. But what if I drip fall one of my own dudes? Does that do more damage overall? I think I won't have enough damage. Because he's about to go to the top. This guy has burnout though. If we put this guy in the back. E. Triple trip with the boss. I thought about it, but like. What if I put this guy to do more damage? This guy only survives two hits. This, my champion is also going to get close to dying. And also, they're skipping this whole lane altogether. So if I do this, at least I can take advantage. Like, if I do double drip here, at least I can take advantage of this damage. The problem is... That guy comes up. This guy comes up. I, I, I lose that whole that whole that whole unit though. Where's Molden when you need it? Where's Molden when you need it? You guys have too much burnout. I need to do a thousand more damage somehow. If I say, what if I say spike for the Hellhorn for this moment right here? If I say spike for the Hellhorn, but that, I'd have to draw into it. If I say spike for the Hellhorn, then it's guaranteed game over. If I had an extra days, would it be make a difference? It would, right? 
So I could it would be I would have to draw into it, you know? I think this is probably winnable. I'm trying to see something though. So my guys does ten stays, so then I go boom boom. Alright, so I'm missing forty nine damage. And then it's three hundred forty nine. That guy's dead, boom, dead, 45 damage. Then that guy comes back, days again, so 41, boom, 49, boom, 330, boom. Then that guy dies, 5 damage, and then this guy is no longer days, so then he's going, boom, 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 10 damage to my boss, now my guy in the front is dead, 5 damage, boom. So now it's just 78 armor, 330, boom. Minus 30, 48 armor, 330, boom. Uh, 8 armor, Sorry, uh, 18 armor, 330, boom. And then I get down to 5 life, 330, boom. Then he attacks me, I die, boom. So I live with 5 life. Can I save that in any way? I don't think I can. Strong bear in the mid lane. Yeah, I made a lot of mistakes. Fuck, I'm going to have to science this. This fight took forever. Am I going to science this? Or did I just fail the challenge because I fucked up? The deck definitely can do it. This deck is actually very technical, very hard, very... This is a very high level deck. This is not an easy deck to play. Because there's ascending, there's descending, there's... Uh, resolved units that you can choose which lane to go. The mid lane is like a pseudo lane, it's not really a real lane. That you have to utilize in different ways. Which you gotta keep in mind, the final boss. Because I was doing so much to manage the leakage... That when it came down to the final boss, I didn't think about, okay, wait, but are we ready for the final boss? I'll, I'll science it. Let me use the bathroom. All right, let's science it. Yeah, we're yeah, I know we'll go. Oh, tragic! Oh, there's tragic. One second. Finish for spike. Yeah, we can try to hold the spike. It's a little bit hard though to do so. Let's see though.
I'm gonna try to uh keep this guy alive. A big spike. Do we wait even longer? Do I wait even longer? Look at this. Multi Nimp is becoming a big, big boy. So, how does the damage work? So, if I sacrifice the Imp, does the burnout happen first or it doesn't have burnout? Okay. Never mind. But this one does. All right, so first and foremost, we gotta do this. And we need to do enough damage to this so that... All right, so I do this. All right, and then the difference is that... All right, that's good. Now... I gotta make sure I use drip fall. Now, if I go ahead and use Spike of the Hellhorn now, this is really good, but let's, let's wait. All right, these units are getting big. These units are getting big. Do I overstack this flame here? Or is that too much to overstack? Do I, do I, do I overstack now? Am I gonna need to? And then I won't have, I won't have space to remake, that's the thing. I won't have space to re-put re it in. I won't have space to re-put units in.
Wow. Top deck. That was the most intricate challenge deck. Consider that brought the game to a whole new level. I had to think about a mid lane that was a pseudo lane. I had to think about the different archetypes and how that can influence cards in between each other. I mean, subtypes of stuff. That was a cr love that challenge. Love it.